सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रिगार्डिंग द मेडिसिन ओके एंड मेडिसिन एंड ड्रग्स ओके सो डिफरेंस बिटवीन व्हाट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिफरेंस बिटवीन ड्रग्स एंड मेडिसिन ओके सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ड्रग्स एंड मेडिसिन यू शुड बी नो अबाउट द ड्रग्स आर मेडिसिन्स ओके ड्रग्स आर मेडिसिन्स मीन्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड बी नो अबाउट द नेचर ऑफ ड्रग एंड मेडिसिन ओके सो दे मे बी आइदर सिंथेटिक आर दे मे बी नेचुरल आर दे मे बी सेमी सिंथेटिक ओके so what is the meaning of synthetic and natural and semi synthetic okay so if you see here synthetic means they are synthesized in lab okay they are synthesized in lab okay lab means chem a uh, chemical lab okay means their synthesis means their uh, they are manufacturing in the lab okay natural means they are isolated from nature isolated from nature okay so there in nature there are several sources either they may be uh, plant source okay either they may be eukaryotes or they may be prokaryotes okay and uh, there are uh, in marine sources they may be okay so means they either they are synthesized in lab so origin origin will be synthetic if they are isolated from nature they may be natural drugs if they are both if suppose that if any drug suppose that this is the simple framework of any drug okay and some frame some moiety or fragment is isolated from nature and some is prepared in the lab okay so during preparation of these whole compounds this fragment and this natural substance natural this natural and this synthetic fragments are joined together okay so the chemical may be what you can say they may be you can you should be say that it is semi synthetic means half of okay so it is the means nature first of all they may be chemicals and these chemicals because uh, they are the carbon and hydrogen like that and there will be other heterocyclic compounds okay so they may be synthetic natural or semi synthetic okay so first of all you should be uh, you should be know about the these fact these factors okay the second point is that if you see the medicines medicines is uh, before discussing uh, we will discuss some main main uh, main points means we will ex explain some main points like side effects like side effects okay so what is the meaning of side effects actually what happened here some drugs suppose that you are taking paracetamol paracetamol okay and mode of uh, mode of taken is suppose that you are taken orally okay and since drugs are uh, going going where it will detox their deterioration means they may be uh, target oriented okay and these target are proteins okay proteins are and these proteins may be structure like 3d okay suppose that this drugs suppose that you are suppose that you are taking just paracetamol uh, to the mouth okay and it will go to the your lungs okay so when it passes from mouth to your lungs or kidneys okay what we are Uh, your target is okay so since all the drugs are detox the d um, fragmented in the lungs okay so during this 
during this way there are several organs are involved okay so some drugs also dissolve dissolve and uh, may be interact through the other organ okay so these these are the chemicals when interacts from other other body organs they cause some side effects okay like like their uh, damage to the tissue cells are like that okay so it is called side effects okay so if you are taking any drugs some side effects is also appeared okay the second term is therapeutic therapeutic means any drug which are you uh, any drug uh, which is used for the cure of any diseases okay so, so this is called therapeutics okay the third is addiction addiction means suppose that you are taking paracetamol or you are taking morphine for cure of pain okay after curing the pain again if you are taking morphine then it is called addiction means you are going to repeat drugs and if you have no any disease okay so this is called addiction okay so okay so these are the some terms which is very important for you ailments means cure cure me cure okay so if you see medicines so first of all medicines used for the cure of any disease suppose that you are suffering from fever okay and you are going to, uh, you are going to discuss through doctor suppose that and they prescribe that you you can take paracetamol okay so since doctor prescribe this drug and this drug is specific for curing the fever okay and this drug is called antipyretic pyretic is used if you are suffering from fever okay since it anti anti term indicates that it cure the this disease pyretic means fever so if any drugs is used for the treatment of fever then it is called anti pyretic okay so, but drugs for drugs may be cure for diseases okay so there is no guarantee for that this drug may be cure the cure to the fever okay the other point is that it is safe for human body medicines are safe for human body but drugs may be used for may be safe for human body okay so there is no confirmation or any data is available that this drug is safe okay but in the case of medicines several literature uh, is also literature reports also indicate that it is particular it is after that it uh, that several clinical trials are completed regarding this medicine okay the third point is that they have insignificant toxic effect or side effects okay they may be means you can say they are non toxic okay but drugs may be toxic okay the fourth point is that after ailment is used there is no addiction among the patient to use this compound again okay means medicines suppose that any if you are uh, suffering for typhoid okay and doctor prescribe to you that you are take any anti tuberculosis drugs okay so after curing and uh, curing this disease you, disease you you will not take the drugs again because your disease is cured but in the case of medicine but in the case of drugs sorry for that in the case of drugs suppose that you are taking morphine okay morphine is uh, it is used for the uh, for the cure of um, pain and this type of drugs is called nl j6 okay so after uh, curing the pain if you are again you are taking the morphine okay so these drugs cause the addiction to the patient to take again and again okay so here it acts as a drug okay so drug causes the addiction okay but it is not applicable for the medicines okay all medicines are drugs okay but all the drugs are not medicines okay so these are the some uh, basic points regarding the drugs and medicines okay because students are suffering from 
uh, these terms means they cannot clarify these these terms okay and several complete exams this type of uh, terms is have been asked okay so you should be uh, clear in mind that what is the difference between drugs and medicine okay so it is all about today okay so, so thank you for watching this video and please if you like this video please like and subscribe